Hey guys, what's up? It's DJ Drox here, and today we're going to be talking about pirating music off the internet um, and why you absolutely, positively should not do it. It's a terrible idea. Let's get into it right now. Pirating music off the internet. First of all, it's a criminal offense. You can get in huge trouble, sued, fined, thrown in jail, whatever. It's a huge problem because you can go download stuff off sites and here's some reasons especially why you should do it. One, uh, the artists which put in the work to do it, especially small artists which are just starting out. If you pirate their songs, they don't get the money that comes from producing them. And for some songs, it can take months, even years to produce it and make it sound just the right, the right way. So you're robbing that person out of hard earned money. And people say that nowadays, oh, it's not a big deal with the rise of digital music, digital music creation. It's not a real talent, it's a, it's a, it is a real talent. It takes a lot of work to do it. Um, I challenge you, pull up GarageBand, try to make a EDM song like Tiesto, Martin Garrix. People like them to make. Without experience, you really just can't do it. Another reason why you should not pirate music off the internet is those sites which you can get it off of are a lot of times extremely shady. You can get viruses, um, malware, that sort of thing. It's just not a good idea. A final reason why is because the song quality won't be that good. So sometimes, sometimes maybe, but for most part it won't be. It'll be terrible audio, audio quality. So even though it might sound okay while listening to it on headphones, if you try to play it over your music system, your DJ system, it'll sound terrible, it'll distort, it'll just be absolutely terrible. Plus for a lot of sites, you don't get a lot of the artist information, BPM, track, time, um, album, that sort of thing. Uh, album, cover art, you won't get that stuff. Also, with the YouTube to MP3 converter, converters and that sort of a thing, don't use those either. They're absolutely terrible. And once again, you're robbing artists of their music, which is a criminal offense. And the quality won't be as good as if you just spent the $1.29 on iTunes and bought it off there. Or it's going to be an extremely high quality file. I mean, I don't see why people do it. It's just a terrible idea in general. There's no reason to. Just stop. It's bad. You can get thrown in jail for it. So, yeah, stop. That's it for me. Like, subscribe, practice, enjoy. DJ Drugs. Over.